Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We're in Santa Clara, California at the Open Compute Project Summit, OCP Summit for short. It's great, they used to have a version which was one year off of the year, but now they've just standardized on 2017. A lot easier to keep track of. We're excited to be joined by our next guest who represents a company that's been playing aggressively in open for a long time. You may or may not have known that. It's Justin Hotard, VP and GM, Hyperscale and OEM Solutions for HPE. Welcome Justin. Thanks Jeff, great to be here. Absolutely. So, give for folks that aren't as familiar maybe with the open uh, source kind of background and ethos at HPE, give us kind of an update as to where you guys play, why is it important to HPE? Sure, I mean this, this has actually been a significant part of our business for a few years now and uh, we got, you know, we obviously uh, have a huge install base in enterprise and uh, a lot of what we, you, know, you see as traditional infrastructure are ProLiant products and uh, three-part flash platforms, but we saw the opportunity to move into open because we saw uh, this is a, a different way to service new, new and emerging customers. And uh, a few years ago we announced the JV with Foxconn uh, that you may remember from a, from a couple of years ago here at OCP. And uh, we built on that, we built out a, a huge portfolio of products. Uh, and, uh, and this year we're starting to take it to the next level. But it's kind of an interesting play, right? Because you guys obviously have very smart technical expertise inside of HP, terrific fellows, really one of the great cultures for keeping really smart people on board and developing things. Go back to my Intel i64 days, that's another story. Um, but, but open is different, right? Because now you, you're basically conceding that all the smartest people are not necessarily inside your four walls and it brings a different type of innovation uh, that you can't get when you just keep everything closed. Yeah, that's right. I mean, I think, I think actually there's a great, it's a great synergy for us because you have we have the best, some of the best and brightest engineers in the world, as you highlighted, but we're shifting that focus from just building our own systems to leveraging this open ecosystem. And truth be told, we've been doing that for years. I mean, the ecosystem we've cultivated in x86 and you know, even going back to Mission Critical, which you mentioned, uh, I mean, we've, we've had uh, you know, great partners in those, in those environments, and we understand actually that to be successful and deliver great solutions for customers, we have to do that with a partner ecosystem. So this is, you know, to me, this is really a, um, just the next step uh, in, a, in a new market opportunity growing business for how we innovate and evolve our business model from right. some of the things we've done in the past. Yeah, it's interesting because when we see you guys at OpenStack all the time, obviously we see yep. you at, at Discover, which is a terrific event, but, but it, it's a really different way and, and what's interesting now is the hyperscale. And, and you know, for Facebook to open source their internal spec for their data set is pretty interesting, but even more interesting is to see the adoption by the ecosystem because at the end of the day, you need a thriving ecosystem to make open source work. You guys clearly participating in an aggressive way. Yeah, that's right. And I, and I think you know, from our perspective, we look at it and when we see you know, with open, we, we see the opportunity to bring customers uh, a, a really flexible set of choices. So from a, you know, from a component level to a system level to tuning and tailoring that system to their specific workload, all the way into how we deploy it, service it, uh, support it throughout the life cycle for, the, for our customers, making sure they're getting the, the best performing platform, the right TCO, Hitting their, hitting their key SLAs and business metrics. So there's a lot of, the, again, a lot of the things that we've done in the past where we may engineer it into a product, we're now doing that as a part of the solution delivery to our customers. Right. Which is such an interesting point too, right? Because at the end of the day, there isn't just a customer, right? There's many problems and many solutions that need to be delivered inside of an individual company, but it's really workload specific. And it's really horses for courses. What's the right solution set choice for the customer to solve that problem? So you have to be open to a solution, not necessarily product A, product B, product C. That's right, and you know, we've been, I think if you look at our activity over the last few years, both organically and even through acquisition, we've been really aggressive in making sure we get we build out a broad, the broadest portfolio of, of tailored solutions for individual workloads. And, and so I think open, you know, we, as we look at it, it's really a part of that journey, right? And a part of that evolution. We're hitting the accelerator on it. We're excited about a lot of the things we're doing and building that complete solution stack for customers. But it, it fits right in with you know, our leadership in HPC through the acquisition of SGI. You know, some of the things we're doing in hyper-converged, right. uh, you know, emphasized by the acquisition of SimpliVity and our HC380. So it, it's really complementary. Uh, and again, what we want to be able to do for any of our customers, traditional customers uh, or our, our cloud uh, service provider customers, is be able to give them exactly, you know, exactly the choice to buy what they need, how they need it, and implement it and operate it with our support in whatever manner fits their business model best. 
It's perfect, give them the choice. So last thing before I let you go, I know you're giving a talk later today for the folks that aren't in Santa Clara. What's your talk about? Give them a little preview, well, a little we're gonna, plug. Yeah, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, just some of the things we, we just talked about, what we're doing to, to really extend our leadership and open. You know, we, we think we've got a great, uh, a great platform, the best platform in the business to be able to, to help develop, deliver solutions, both, uh, you know, both early on in a, in a business's life cycle and at scale in this space. And so uh, I'm going to be talking a lot about that and how we can help. All right. Well, Justin, break a leg at your, uh, at your talk, and thanks for stopping by. Great. Thanks, Jeff. All right. He's Justin Hotard. I'm Jeff Frick. You're watching theCUBE from Open Compute Project Summit 2017 in Santa Clara. Thanks for watching.